Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we are going to be finishing up Captain America's new shield. Now, I know I said there's going to be three parts. Um, it's going to be two parts because this project didn't go exactly as planned, but I'll talk about that later. So for right now, we've already got it modeled. Let's just go get it printing. printing is pretty much done. Um, all of the printing was done on this GMAX 1.5 Plus, and those of you who have been around for a while might know that um, I don't have a GMAX. So, this is a brand new edition, a temporary edition. This is actually Joel Telling's GMAX, um, the 3D printing nerd. I'm sure most of you know him, but if for some reason you don't know who the 3D printing nerd is, I will put a link down in the description. Go check him out. He is a wonderful human being, and I believe the GMAX was his very first printer. So Joel and G-Create reached out to me and this is actually going to be a traveling printer and we are the very first recipients of it. So we are extremely honored to be the first and in a few weeks we are actually going to be sending this on to the next person. So I thought this was a really cool idea because this printer really has quite a bit of historical significance in the YouTube 3D printing space because Joel is no doubt one of the juggernauts of the YouTube 3D printing area and this is kind of what started it all so it's it's very cool that they're doing this and allowing all of us to to create projects on this thing so this was the very first one there will be a few more projects on this on the channel before we have to send it on so thank you Joel and thank you G-Create. Um, if you guys want to know anything about this printer, I will put all the information down in the description as well as a link to um, check this out. As you can tell, the build volume is huge and we plan to utilize that very soon. Okay, so the print is finished and these are actually just a bunch of test pieces. These aren't going to be the final thing, but I kind of use these to test sizes and stuff like that. As you can see, like this one didn't even finish, but um, I'm gonna use these to kind of show you uh, how it goes together and things like that. Um, so first of all, this was printed in Matter Hacker's Build PLA. Matter Hacker sent some of this stuff along with the GMAX to help us do some of these big projects. So I'll put a link to their build filament um, down in the description. Go check that out. And this piece Chelsea used to um, test out some of the painting techniques, so that's why it's partially finished on the top there. But basically this is how it's laid out. This is the core piece right here, and they are hollow on the inside as you can see. So these two are the wings, and as I mentioned, this one didn't finish, so don't pay attention to that. But they basically just sit right in there like that. And the idea was that they would just fit inside and be able to slide out into place like that. Make sense? So we have the core piece, a wing on either side, and then this right here is the tip, and this just goes right up top here. These right here are the inserts that go um, like right here, for instance. And I made these separate pieces because these are painted silver where the rest of them are black, just to make it easy to paint so that we can just slide them in afterwards, glue them in place, good to go. And there are four of those. So that kind of leaves the inside open to an interpretation. Now the one that I went with is just a solid piece so we can glue all the pieces to it and it will be good to go as is. Now I'll explain a little more later on what you guys can do with this. But with all that, the only thing that's left is how you're actually going to hold on to this thing. Now there is a handle piece that um, I don't currently have right now, but it basically just glues to the bottom of this core piece. And then for the strap, actually what we did was we got these um, sweatbands that just go like around your wrist, you know? And we put some Velcro on there so you can put the other two pieces right here 
put this around your forearm and then it'll just velcro right in place the handle will be up here so you've got kind of this thing going on so hopefully that all makes sense and it's it'll be pretty easy for you guys to assemble so with that out of the way let's kick this over to chelsea and let her do her magic finishing this Alright guys, well, here you have it. Um, this project turned out quite a bit differently than I thought it would, although I should have expected this, but um, you know, it mounts just like it should. It's, ultimately, it's a little bit small. I think I probably should have made it a little bit bigger, because it doesn't quite come to my elbow, and I think it should have come out a little bit farther. But that was probably just me not measuring it correctly. I think what I did is I didn't think the tip would come out this far from where my hand is. So I should have made it just a bit bigger. But other than that, I'm extremely happy with how this turned out. It looks phenomenal. And that's almost entirely due to Chelsea's good paint job on this. Now let's talk about what went wrong here. Um, the, the biggest thing is that I'm horrible with mechanical things. I've never really done that and I seem to need a reminder about once every year that um, I shouldn't promise that type of stuff because I usually can't deliver on it. Now I could have kept iterating on this and kept printing away until I got something that worked but um, as I mentioned earlier this is all with Joel's GMAX 
and I have a very limited time with that printer and it's already been about a month since I posted my last video so I ultimately decided I just needed to put this one down and move on to the other project so I have time to get them done. So instead of that, what I'm going to be doing is I am actually going to share my uh, Fusion 360 file for this because I know that some of you out there are extremely talented with this type of thing and could do a much better job. So rather than just sharing the STL files that I use to print, I will share those as well, but I will share the full Fusion file so you can go through all of my history, tweak everything here, and I'm just going to kind of make it a community challenge. So if you are up to the challenge and you create something that's functional and that you really like. One, make sure you follow me on Twitter so um, you can tweet me and I know about what you've created. And two, I would love to see you upload it to Thingiverse so other people can print it as well. And if someone out there is actually able to create the functional version of this, um, I will create a video at that point sharing what they've done, putting a link to their files, um, and of course giving them all the credit. So I'm basically just treating this as a community challenge to you guys because I know there's quite a few of you out there that are way more talented than I am. Alright guys, well thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this pretty cool. As always, links to these files are down in the description. And that's it for me. So until next time, keep creating.